Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to improve low click through rates using Search Console. Hey everyone, I'm Tia Jones with Mastering Pop, which is mastering profitability over popularity. I'm also the creator of the No Fail Mastering Ecom workflow bundle, which is a digital marketing course that's available right now. Today, I'm going to show you how to improve low click through rates using Search Console. But before I do this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a video. I upload digital marketing videos that will help you to generate more revenue and scale your store faster. Okay, so Search Console is one of my favorite tools. Um, it is free for anyone with a website. Uh, in Search Console, you can see how Google views your site and you can optimize it. So in Search Console, you can see referring domains, uh, your mobile site performance, uh, your highest traffic queries and pages. At any given time, I have Search Console open in a tab or two. I really do. So it's really helpful on a macro and micro level, both when I need to see how many impressions, you know, Flower Power Packages is gaining month over month, or just to figure out what's happened to high traffic pages that kind of fell off, right? So in Search Console, you can, you can identify your highest traffic pages, uh, your highest click-through rate queries. You can look at your average click-through rate. You can monitor your click-through rate like just over time, which you should be doing. Uh, you can monitor your impressions over time, your average position. Uh, you can identify your highest ranking pages and your lowest ranking pages, right? Um, you can compare your site's traffic uh, or its performance across desktop, mobile, tablet. <laughs> um, you, can, uh, you can compare it. Uh, you can look at your site's search performance across different countries. Um, you can see how many pages Google has indexed or how many page, pages Google has not indexed. You can look at backlinks. I mean, I really could go on and on. I could go on and on. Um, I think a lot of people sleep on Search Console and you shouldn't because you can do a lot. Um, you can definitely improve your site's performance. So again, today I'm gonna to show you how to improve low click-through rate pages using Search Console. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to pages, right? So we're gonna click on, well, we're gonna make sure we're in performance, okay? So make sure you click performance and then we're gonna scroll down to pages, right? So when we click on pages, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna to go to the, the filter right here, we're gonna click on impressions and we wanna see the impressions greater than, I'm gonna say 5,000 because you ha it's all based on your website, right? So for me, I wanna see the impressions greater than 5,000. Why? Because I do not wanna see pages that have only 10 to 20 impressions, right? So um, we're gonna click done. And what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna scroll back up to the top, we're gonna click on average click-through rate average position because I want to see that as well and the last thing we're going to do is we are going to click on click through rate and we're going to sort from lowest to highest right so now I'm looking at collections and product pages uh, from the lowest to highest click through rates right um, greater than 5,000 right that's really important for me for, again for you you're going to have to determine what that's going to be uh, but what I want to do is while I look at this right here, I see that glass bubblers, it's only getting 0.1%. And I know that if I can get it to 1%, it could help me 10x the amount of clicks, right? So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna go to this page. I wanna check it out, see what it looks like. Um, what I would wanna do is make sure that it's optimized to its fullest, right? Make sure the title tags look good, they read well. Um, this obviously is a glass bubblers page. I would look at the meta description. Um, I'm looking at, okay, so right here, the one of the first things I would do is I would add more copy to this page, right? So this is my H1 tag. I would probably include uh, an H2, an H3, and a few internal links. So I would definitely improve the copy on this page. Um, I would add some keywords, of course, um, and headers, and again, uh, internal links that might point to other pages that I want to give juice to, right? So um, that's exactly what I would do. And then I would take the, the URL and then I would submit it to Google and tell Google to come and crawl this page because I've made some changes 
and I would like for you to come crawl it to re-index it in Google. So I would take the URL, I would go to URL inspection, and I would paste the URL right here. Of course, you would hit enter and then it'll go through the motions and you'll ask Google, it'll say request indexing. You're, of course, you're gonna click that button, right? So um, another thing you can do is we can actually see the queries that are driving traffic to this page. So I can click on queries right here and all these queries are driving traffic to uh, that specific page. See right here, this is the page, right? So if you wanna expand to see, as you can see, there's 133 pages or excuse me, queries that drive traffic to this collection pages. So there's so much you can do in Google, but that's it. I just showed you how to improve low click-through rates, um, starting with my Glass Bubblers page. If you if you circle back to 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 this page um, a few days from now, today is March 14th, 2022. You'll see that I've uh, added more copy. Okay, it's your turn. Go improve some low click-through rate pages using Search Console. All right, have a good day.